So while these servers are still provisioning, I just wanna show you two things that will be important. One, I can access any of these servers over SSH automatically. And two, I already have Git hooked up to my account, so I'll be able to connect my code from GitHub into our application servers. So if I go to my account, and we'll see SSH keys. I have an SSH key here, just named iMac, and I'm recording on my iMac right now. So the public key for my iMac will get added to the server automatically, so I'll be able to SSH into any server I spin up since I have these keys. Otherwise, I would need to add an SSH key to each server after I spun them up if I had to make a new key and add that to Forge. Now, the second thing here is source control. I've already linked my GitHub account, and because of that, anything that my user has access to in Git, Forge should be able to access as well. So if I'm under my user Fideliper, my user Fideliper owns the Scaling Laravel organization, and within that, I have this forge.scalinglaravel.com application, which is what we're gonna be using and running on our scaled application here. One thing you might need to do to make sure that Forge has access to all of your accounts and organizations is to head over to the application that is created by Forge. So that's under user settings, applications, and OAuth applications, and you can head on over to Forge and see what has given access. So Scaling Laravel has access already, but you can see sometimes not everything gets given access. So if you have something like Shipping Docker, like if I want to grant access to the Shipping Docker organization into Forge, I would have to click Grant here, and that might be the case for you as well. So I just wanted to make those two quick notes. I'll be able to SSH into the servers and the Scaling Laravel organization with our code in it, with our repository for Forge at scalinglaravel.com. We'll be able to get accessed by the Forge app, by Forge when we link our GitHub account to it. So we can see one of these is already set, my SL app one server with this IP address. Let's go ahead and try to log into that. And we can see I have access and it's named SL app one conveniently, so we can see what server we're logged into at any time. So great, once these are all finished getting set up and provisioned, we'll move on to setting up our application on our application servers.